Sugarcane and crab shells. That's what these shoes are made of. What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Time Is Now Investing, or better known as Tin Invest, where I'm your host, Jimmy Bishrat. Now, today's episode really revolves around one major question, and that's that can you make money and be environmentally cautious all at the same time? Well, today's company thinks absolutely you can. Allbirds aims to correct the stereotype that a business that's focused on the environment can't be lucrative. Currently, the company's loyal customers are willing to pay a premium for footwear and clothing made from naturally derived materials. These materials include tree fibers, sugarcane, and even crab shells. But is Allbirds making mountains out of molehills with this one? Like, is the issue really that big of a deal? Well, to my surprise, yes. Listen to this, guys. Apparel manufacturing releases approximately 1.2 billion tons of greenhouse gases. Now, put this in comparison, the highway vehicles, according to the U.S. Department of Energy, they report that they release about 1.6 billion tons of greenhouse gases. I mean, the difference is there, but it's not that big, yet we make a much bigger deal about driving electric vehicles rather than combustion engines, so why aren't we making a big deal about, like, apparel manufacturing? Well, I guess we are. According to the KPMG study, 80% of top companies now report on sustainability, meaning it is something that enough people are looking at. This could be taking effect as the environmentally cautious millennial generation now dominates the U.S. labor force, meaning the people who do care and the people who are willing to pay the premium, now they're the ones that are technically in charge. So according to KPMG, yeah, people care. But what do the financials tell us? Is Allbirds making tons of money by selling this environmentally friendly product? Well, let's discuss this in the next part of the video, the financials. Now, Allbirds was actually one of the very few companies to perform pretty decently during the pandemic disrupted year of 2020. In that year, they posted net revenues of $219 million. This was up over 13% from 2019. Now, personally, I think this was a result of more people spending time behind a screen. See, my first time I came across Allbirds was through an Instagram ad, and really every time I ever seen or heard of the company was through advertising on social media and stuff like that. Myself, along with I'm sure many other people, uh, we were shopping in stores more. We weren't doing our shopping online, and if we did, it was from a company that I already trusted, so to say. Now, during the pandemic, I'm not shopping in a store as much. I'm not going to the malls, obviously. So now when I come across that Instagram ad, shoot, I'm already doing my shopping online. Might as well try this brand out. And I think this is the reason that Allbirds may have seen a boost in their sales during the pandemic. But notice those two massive words I just said. I think. See, this video and all my videos are a direct representation of my personal research mixed with my personal opinion. So you got to realize that everything and anything you hear in these videos is not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to buy or sell. I'm not telling you any type of recommendation. This is simply my interpretation of the research I've done. So please, please, please always do your own research and realize that I am not a financial advisor. So, I mean, is this a good idea, putting this much of your revenue towards marketing? I guess I could see both sides of the argument here. Allbirds is trying to make themselves a household name, so they're trying to push it through social media ads and marketing. But, I mean, in my opinion, I feel like the best overall way to market a brand is through having a good product, meaning Lululemon. They marketed through having a great product and word of mouth, just spreading slowly but surely. And I mean, look where they are today. Or another example, Olaplex. Olaplex has created a great brand. They've made their way into having like the hairstylist. They are the ones that recommend it now because of how good of a product it is. And by the way, I have done a video on Lululemon and I've also done one on Olaplex. So please be sure to check out both of those videos. But yeah, is it a good idea to market this much? Like I said, I see both sides of it and I'll leave it for you to decide. 
Okay, so Allbirds is showing some positive growth metrics, but does this necessarily mean that they are a risk-free slash good investment? Well, not really, and this is due to some steep valuation concerns. I mean, according to an article from Forbes, Allbirds is not worth anywhere near $2 billion, a valuation that implies Allbirds revenue will grow over five times current levels and that the company will essentially become more profitable than all of its competitors, which I mean is highly unlikely. Among that, Allbirds is not profitable. While 2020 sales were up by double digits against the 2019 results, their net loss almost doubled as well. And I mean, at the halfway point of this year, Allbirds has already produced a net loss of over 21 million, this being compared to 9.5 million a year ago. And I mean, just to make things even scarier for investors, Allbirds has already admitted in their S1, and I this is literally word for word, I quote, we have incurred significant net losses since inception and anticipate that we will continue to incur losses for the foreseeable future. Now, why is this? Why would Allbirds continue to incur a loss? Well, it could be because of many reasons, but I think an overlooked cause could be because Allbirds is also planning on opening up brick and mortar stores across the nation. And in my eyes, this simply seems like they're burning money. Now, possibly due to COVID, the company could be picking up some cheap leases and maybe it really could help Allbirds build some brand awareness. But personally, I'm just not fond of the move. And this isn't the only time that I've disagreed with a business decision that Allbirds has made. See, in this industry, in the shoe slash clothing industry, you either need an innovative product or you need a strong brand such as let's say Yeezys or Jordans with a name attached to it where people are willing to pay a premium. Now, Allbirds doesn't have a face like Kanye West or Michael Jordan on their team, but they do have an innovative sweet foam sole and wool material. However, as part of the company's commitment to global sustainability goals, the firm decided to just give away its sweet foam technology to the industry for free. So I mean, going into the future, if Allbirds is continuing to innovate and just plan on giving away their innovations for no charges, for no sort of royalty or anything, then I don't see this company being around for very long. I mean, it didn't take much time for brands to just begin copying them. Look no further than Amazon's 206 Collective, which offers a nearly identical looking shoe, minus the eco-friendly manufacturing and materials, but it's sold for half the price. So apart from the steep competition from big brand names such as Adidas, Lululemon, and Nike, Allbirds is now facing invited competition from big manufacturers such as Amazon. Honestly, it seems like Allbirds has one thing going for them, and that's that it's their sustainable achievements. But I mean, it's not going to take very long for bigger companies to start becoming just as sustainable. For instance, Lululemon, they plan by 2025 to achieve at least 75% sustainable materials for their products. This includes fibers that are recycled, renewable, and sourced responsibly or some sort of combination. And they also plan on manufacturing these using low resource processes. So, I mean, personally... I'm a Lululemon guy. Now again, by no means is this financial advice, I'm not telling you what to do, but for transparency purposes, and just to be upfront, I will not be buying Allbird stock. Though I agree with what they do morally and I hope they succeed, personally I feel like their care for the environment might be the same thing that kills their business. Well everyone, that's all I got for you today. And I mean, just for some fun, I'll do another giveaway in this episode. If this video sees over 400 views within the first week I post it, then I will be giving away a pair of Allbird shoes to a subscriber slash someone who comments on this video. So be sure to comment and share and of course, like this video because that really helps me. So like this video and always remember, the time is now.